Hey, what's up? This is Ryan from Premium USB, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to take a picture and cut out an icon and put it on a USB drive. And I'm going to show you how to do all of this for free. So if you don't own Photoshop and you don't know how to create an INF, all that good stuff, we're going to wrap it all into one and show you how to do it. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is download a picture editing software. Now you can use Photoshop, um, but if you need something for free, Zoner Photo is probably the best thing I've found so far. So just go ahead and download it for free. I'm not going to show you how to install it. Um, you should be able to do that. And go ahead and make sure it's installed. There it is. Okay, now let's go to our uh, picture. And uh, I'm going to use Bucky the Badger here. So we're going to open it up in Zoner. And we're going to go to Editor. And then we're going to crop it. And we're going to get it to a square. So we're just going to go ahead and choose a fixed size. And we're going to do 1200 by 1200. And we're going to choose his head there. And that's what we're going to use for our icon. So you right click it, crops it. And then we are going to resize to 128 by 128. So let's go ahead and get that straight. All right, OK. And now we're going to bounce it out, do a save as. And we are going to call it uh, Bucky to convert. And we'll save. So make sure it's in a JPEG, save, and we're out of here. And the next thing we want to do is we want to convert this to an ICO formatted uh, file. So we want to go to a website called Convert Icon, which is very simple. It does everything online for you. So get started. Make sure you have the right file type. So you want to make sure that it can find JPEGs. So there's Bucky to convert. Hit open. There he is. Just hit export. What size do you want? We want 128 by 128. That's the original size. That's what I exported it to. So you could technically, I believe, bring it in a different size. So we're going to save it out as Bucky Final. So this is going to be our icon format. And we've saved it. Now we're out of here. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we've got it on our desktop because that's how I work. And we've got it there. Now we're just going to call it Bucky. And the next thing I want to do is I want to insert the USB drive. And there it is. We see it. Premium USB is the name of the volume. OK, now let's go to Notepad and let's go ahead and create the INF file. It's very important that you do this correctly. Auto run and then data icon Bucky dot ICO. That's the file structure. Oh, you want to do icon equals. And then go down and label equals. So when you plug it in, it'll say go badgers instead of premium USB. So let's save it out. Auto run dot INF. Very important. Save. OK, so now we've got our auto run, which is going to say put the picture on the drive. So let's go to the drive. Let's open it up and let's drop the Bucky icon in there. So we're going to put it in the data icon folder. So let's grab Bucky. There he goes. You're off. So Bucky's in the right folder. Now we've got to put the INF file in the root of the USB. So let's go ahead and just take it, drop it in there. Now let's double check our structure. OK, we're doing data icon Bucky dot ICO. Is that where it's at? Data icon. There he is, Bucky. So we're ready to go. Let's test it out. Does it work? And there he is. Bucky's on the drive. So. I appreciate you watching this tutorial about how to put an icon on a USB drive for absolutely free. Uh, if you'd like to check us out, we're at Premium USB as well as like us on Facebook. This is Ryan from Premium USB. Thanks for watching.